Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, welcome back. Looks like you need some more evidence after all. Er, stupid kid. He's, he's, well, I guess you'd call him a kid. He's like 27. Not 27, 23, that one. Hey, what? <laughs> no, then, let's see your evidence. Evidence that shows the mis why Mr. Light went to the KB security at 1 a.m. is not my badge. It's the blackmail letter yeah. that says go there or bad things. Go there or pay the 50,000. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Uh, th that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. Blackmail. Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, right? At the time of the theft, Mr. Light was dealing with a blackmailer himself. In KB security serial office, a full half of an hour away from the scene of the crime. No, no, no! <laughs> oh my. You're gonna have so many poops. <laughs> order, order, order! When the death occurred, the defendant was at KB security. This appears looks like a perfect case for the defense. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me, well, to say it in my Godo blend, remember, and it's been impressed me a lot more. What are you trying to say? See, the thief is being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Uh huh. Well, um, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof. I'm not sure what I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you need at least one way to cooperate their claim, Mr. Wright. Nick, I think we're going to have to track down the CEO guy. No, I don't think so. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There's someone else who can testify. I mean, he this would be a good witness, could... but... Oh. They're talking about Larry Butts! Larry Butts. When it smells, it's stinks. usually it's the, the butts. butts. Who is this useless looking young man? Oh. Wow, that's rude well. as fuck! <laughs> you don't remember him, Your Honor. Hmm, not exactly. But just looking look at his picture it makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. Oh, Merry kind of Christmas! You <laughs> <laughs> probably blocked that, that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as guard at KB Security that night. Oh? Oh. Question at hand is his key card. Yep, that's the key card they use in the building at work. According to the serial number, that's this is the one for the serial's office. You need to get into that room, and every time you use that key card, it leaves a, leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you who, who entered in the wor the room and how. And I can't words anymore. I can't words. Who exactly entered the room and when? <laughs> that was the gist of it. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KP Security. To be able to discover the truth by simply analyzing the key card's data. Buh. <laughs> <laughs> Actual spit take. Actual spit take. Well, Mr. Godo, let me see of KV security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data. Here. So what does it show? Each guard has his own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, card is used, this card was used at 1am on the morning of the crime. Huh. Okay. So that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. Huh. <laughs> Looks like you're right. Two minutes, even even enough time to, to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then... 
Wonderly was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for him to be Master Mask. Good job, you did it, Nick. We did it. That's enough. I came curiously close to misrushing the record of an innocent young man, <laughs> smirching him with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment, but before I do that, do any further objections? No, no, Your Honor. <laughs> and <laughs> very well. Court finds the defendant, Mr. Rondelight, not guilty. Yay, we win! Confetti. Yay. Court is now adjourned. October 13th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Nick, you did it! You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Oh. Nicky I... boy! Oh, Mr. the light. I knew you could do it. I believe in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Aw, oh, shucks. Thanks, Mr. the light. I just know I'm pushing. Oh, Pearl's Congratulations, not like Mr. Nick! Oh, Pearl's. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Who is this woman? Oh, she she's nobody. She just uh <laughs> You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself. Ouch, she slapped me. Um, really? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. And you're an idiot. <laughs> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought. No, come on! Adultery. Come on. Adultery. I'm not reading that. You're not reading that. No. N no, you got it all wrong. I'll never forgive you. Bro, this is mad as fuck. Ow. God. A double slot. Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? Maya, could you do something about this? Just yeah, help me seriously. A little bit. <laughs> She's your cousin. We got the sacred room back, and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us our room back. That's true. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me! We won the case. Then why does this guy still look so glum? Uh, but I am the thief. Actually, what's the point? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie! I know that. I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kids some time. Oh. Oh, hello. He's got a little touch of the blues. Oh, you know, f feeling blue, right, amigo? What? Mr. Goto, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trait. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Uh huh. Earlier this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? You just heard it like just two heard minutes it. ago! <laughs> uh. Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? B body? This mid time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. Oh no. 11th. Whatever, whichever one it is, I don't know. Uh, 1 a.m. October 12th. You don't mean. That's right, amigo. Same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO KB's kid was being murdered. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on, you figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or, have you already forgotten about that little piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out with? What? On October 11th, at. Is it 12th or 11th? I, I can't. I don't October understand. October 12th. 
12th. Okay. Numbers, God. I can't. Those two numbers. They, they're they dumb. Reading's hard. It is. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, one o'clock in the morning. Miss Rhonda Light was in the CEO's office. Miss Rhonda Light. What did I say, miss? <laughs> yeah. Fuck everything. <laughs> After getting that, that black letter, he must have been imbued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbued, imbued with, with rage. Ugh. Come on, don't tell me you didn't know it. Rondelay was once an employee of KV Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee of KV Security. Yep. Yeah. That. That's why he had a key card in his wallet. Yep. Looks like the that alibi had saved him being convicted of as a thief. It's going to be the noose to get to me. Kind of an anti-alibi. No way. You can't be the thief because you're at the murder scene and the murder occurred. No, no, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but but I, I am a thief. I tell you, run to light. You're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't be. This is impossible. Looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely he won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? Now, now he's gay? Come on, Pearls. <laughs> I mean, I ain't judging, but what the fuck, Pearls? <laughs> I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least, let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He'd be quiet. Yo, mama. <laughs> but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, try to, time to say goodbye to Mr. Light. Bye, Ron. See you later. I find in the prison again. Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of my very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. The one who established his presence at the scene was me. Ah, really? <laughs> Good job. Great day. Good job. Arrested for murder on the very same day he's cleared innocent of larceny. What the heck is going to happen next? To be continued. <sighs> Are you okay? Did that, uh, did that take it out of you a little bit? Nah, it's just, uh, you know, in before someone calls the police, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Woman screaming in her apartment. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, on, um... On the note of police potentially being called, uh, next time we get back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, we'll figure out what we're going to do with Ron being accused of murder. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway, until next time. Bye!